In the chaotic early hours of October 7, Israeli forces scrambled to engage Hamas fighters. Apache helicopter gunships fired onto cars driving towards Gaza, aware that some of them were carrying captives. Without guidance, some pilots said they joined local WhatsApp groups to help pick targets. The idea that pilots have to get information from WhatsApp groups is truly remarkable. It's a sign of the initiative that people are looking for any way that they can get the information. This is an outrage. I mean, what kind of a way is that to fight a modern war? At least 70 vehicles were hit by attack helicopters. To me, it's inexcusable for a helicopter or any weapon system to be engaging any target if you don't know what that target is. Now, my concern is, with this footage, we cannot tell whether they're Hamas gunmen or civilians or possibly hostages. And I don't believe the helicopter pilot or the machine gun operator would be able to tell you. These big rounds have a certain area effect and obviously come at a certain rate that if you shoot at a group of people, you're most likely going to kill everyone. You are knowingly putting your own civilians at risk. The I unit compiled a detailed list of those killed on October 7. It found that 27 captives died somewhere between their homes and the Gaza fence. The circumstances of those deaths have not been explained. Twelve more civilian deaths took place in Berry Kibbutz after an attack by police and army forces on a house there containing captives. Israel's Channel 12 spoke to survivors. The investigative unit asked the Israeli army to comment on its actions on October 7. They did not reply.